Right folks, how are we all? Very exciting times down here at Leicester. Um, so, thought I'd do you a championship, a championship special for Fox sake. Um, because that is now where Leicester are, uh, and right, uh, probably deserve to be. Um, so, every, so in the news now, Leicester are announcing the new manager, Enzo Mo Mo Moresca, Mores I'll just call him Enzo. Uh, Moresca, is that how you say it? Moresca, I'll get used to it. Um, if you don't know Lee Chappe, go and have a look at his channel. Um, he's more up to date and everything on it than, than I ever will be. Um, I'm a busy man. So it's just the way it goes. But go and have a look at Lee Chappie. He's all he's more up to date about it than me. Um, now, people keep asking me, or they did ask me about um, Leicester going down. Am I going to do a for Fox sake special on Leicester going down? Uh, and the answer was no, because I knew this would happen. I knew that things would change at Leicester in the new season. Um, so what I've done is I've saved it all up, and I'm going to put it all into one video for you. Uh, my thoughts, my opinions. Um, because really I don't know what else there was to say. Uh, so a quick mention of Leicester going down. Um, they were fucking shit. <laughs> That's all there is to it. They weren't good enough, there was no fight, there was no desire. Um, players knew that when Leicester went down um, they could go and find other clubs and that was it really. They just, they just know. It's, it's... Do you know what, I don't want to sound like I've got sour grapes here, but it's a shame that when these players get relegated, they should be made to stay with the club that they got relegated with for a year and take the pay cut because what happens is, you see, it's not sour grapes, but it's just the, the fact that these players just turn up and when things are going well, they're all happy and fucking dancing and stuff, but when things get hard, they just fuck off. Um, you know, at the end of the season, they were making statements on Instagram and, oh, you know, we're really sorry, we're devastated, been relegated, um, and all that bollocks. And then it's like, but we're still going to fuck off anyway. You, you lot can, you can take it, you can take being in the championship, uh, but we're just going to take the money and fuck off. Yeah, we'll take big, massive fucking, um, transfer fees and we'll just fuck off we'll leave you let you fucking wallow in the championship and you know they, 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 they were all doing it well most of them were uh, i think there's only probably really vardy who actually meant it because it means something to him yeah um but all the other ones were oh really sorry we're devastated you know and we, perhaps if you'd have been fucking more tried a bit harder yeah if you tried a bit harder, then perhaps we wouldn't have fucking gone down. You fucking bunch of tits. But this is how it is with all players, isn't it? All clubs, all players, those that all get relegated. You know, they come out and they'll say things about, oh, we're really sorry and all that. Oh, because they only say it just in case they end up down the fucking king power again or they end up playing against Leicester. So, you know, um, you know, I mean, Tillemans and Soyon Chu, fair enough. Um, Tillemans is, in my book, is a, a class player. Soyon Chu was treated very badly, uh, and I don't blame him for fucking off, to be fair. Uh, but I, I'll always like Soyon Chu, and I will always like Tillemans, to be fair. Um, I, you know, it, it's just the way it is. Um, but in my opinion, well, the rest, I can't see why anybody would want them, to be fair. I can't, I mean, there's, there's talk of Spurs wanting to spend 50 million on Harvey Barnes and fucking Madison. Don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't think Harvey Barnes is that good enough player to develop, to want that money. And I, that fucking Madison, no. I mean, I, I tweeted this the other day. Madison, Madison should have been called Maddie McCann. Because he, he just went missing so much. And when Leicester won the FA Cup, he were there stamping around fucking enjoying himself and he only came on as a fucking sub don't don't he's, he's not that good a player i mean i've wrote down here um he recorded 39 non-penalty goals and assists in two season it's your fucking job it's your job to do that that was your job madison to do that 
what what do you fucking want? You were probably on a, like hundred grand or whatever a week or. I, I don't understand it. it. It's your job, and all he does is just he just went missing half the fucking time. So I honestly don't understand why any club would actually want Madison. Do I do I see something different? People, please put in your comments below. Do I see something different when Madison plays? Because I just thought he were a fucking pretty boy prima donna who hasn't got it in him. Now, if he does go to Newcastle. I don't think he'll get in the fucking team there. If he goes to Spurs, he'll probably play in the first few games and they'll realise what a fucking waste of time and money he is. And he'll be sitting on the bench. They'll be able to find him, unlike Leicester's good, because he'll be sitting on the bench, keeping warm. Um, Brendan, he should have been sacked at Christmas. Didn't have a fucking plan A, never mind a plan B. Just had his little notepad writing and stuff. Fuck off. Yeah, I thought Brad, I thought Rogers were going to be all right, but obviously, um, no, disappointing. I also think uh, Rudkin needs to fuck off and all. He, uh, Rudkin was appointed uh, as the club's director of football in December 2014. Uh, it's looked like he's done all he can for the club, to be fair. I think it needs new blood all the way through. Um, so, yeah, he can fuck off and all. Director of football, he directed them down. Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we won the league and that, and they won the FA. Oh, fuck off. See, this is the problem. We we live in the past too much. It's like England fans, right? We go on about 1960 fucking six. It's in the past. Can we please look to the future? And this is what Leicester should be doing now. You go to the ground and they're still... And they'll, I don't know if they'll sing it next year. If each I had a dream and all that. Can we please... Yeah, it's very nice, it's very good. We ran, we won the league and everything like that. Really good. But can we please move on now? Yeah. Um, so that's it. Yeah, and Rudkin, he, he, some of the signings were fucking atrocious and the wages that they were paying out were even worse. Just waste of money. Stupid, silly contracts with people who didn't even fucking play. Um... Yeah, it, that's what it is. Anyway, to moving on to the new manager, Enzo Maressa. Um, assistant to Pep at the treble winning Manchester City team. Uh, apparently he's also known for headbutting Aguero on the halfway line in a game. Um, so, he's got... Is somebody shouting? Sorry about that, you don't get any other fucking videos, do you? Nobody was shouting. So, yeah, he um, headbutted Aguero. And I've also read that Cambiasso could be joining up as well. It's all paper talk. I've always said it. Don't believe what you hear in the papers um, and all that. Um, now, this is... People were going on, why haven't Leicester signed a new manager? Why haven't we got a new manager? This is perfect uh, explanation now, then. If, if Leicester wanted this bloke... I mean, I've also heard that Scott Parker was at the training ground as well. I don't know how true that was, uh, but his demands on uh, the war chest was quite massive. Um, so I don't know what to believe, really. Um, but if this is the thing that we wanted, this bloke, because this bloke was also going to go to fucking Cel uh, Celtic, weren't it? But this is the explanation now, because obviously um, they had the Champions League final, and he obviously wanted to watch Jack Grealish have the <coughs> have the party of a lifetime. Um, so we're winning the league. I do think Lampard, Gerrard, Parker. Parker's got an excellent record. He's got a couple of promotions and then he gets sacked. I don't know. Um, Lampard, Gerrard, excellent players. Have they cut out to be managers? Gerrard obviously isn't. Um, another one who was at Derby and should have cut his teeth a bit more, uh, but he hasn't. Enzo has been manager. He's also been assistant manager at a few clubs, so he's hopefully learned a few things. He hasn't just gone straight in and been a, you know, manager and just like, whatever. Um, yeah, he doesn't have much of a managing career, but he has been assistant. And in one way, I applaud Leicester for trying something different and not just going with the normal fucking run-of-the-mill fucking boring managers. I can understand Dean Smith last year trying to get something out of nothing. 
<sighs> didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, personally, I'd have dropped fucking Madison from the start if I'd have been in, but that's that's me. People will be banging on about me fucking going on about Madison all the while, but I don't care. I I I am right. Madison was as good as he fucking thinks he is. Would have still been up there. Um, but I'm glad that they've gone for something different, not from the normal fucking merry-go-round of bloody managers that just keep regurgitating up and fucking about. It's... Hopefully he's learnt something from his previous jobs. Now, I know he was a manager at Palmer for a few games and it didn't work out for him, right? Yeah, perhaps he's learnt from that. I'm happy to give this bloke a chance. It's something different. Um, it's not going to be easy getting out of the championship. But if he's going to go around headbutting people, he ain't going to take any shit off these fucking, fucking prima donnas that Leicester have got. He, this is probably, it's a pretty that he wasn't there at the last season uh, and kicking some fucking arse and telling people how it goes. Because I know some players, um, they need a kick up the fucking arse. It's like at work. You need, sometimes you've got somebody who's fucking around at work, you need to tell them to shut the fuck up and get on with the job. I don't care who you are, yeah? And this sounds like the kind of bloke that we need in the championship to get us out of that fucking place. Um, I'm hoping, um, in one way, yeah, in one way, I'm hoping we just don't go fucking down. And I'm hoping we can regroup and start again, and this is going to be a rebuild. Build, build back better, that old fucking cliche. Build back better. Fuck off. Um, so I'm hoping that we don't go down. I'm hoping we have a strong, steady season, yeah, and start to rebuild. I'm hoping he gets some youngsters in that actually want to play from it for him. Um, not like with the, who want to play for him, have the attitude to get out there and do well. Not like the fucking plebs that we had last year who were just turning up and taking the money and then like, oh, we're fucking lost again. And that's including Brenda. Um, also, he might be able to bring a few players in on loan. Um, you know, because he's going to have his contacts. He's going to have his, you know, Man City might have a few players that they might want to have championship experience and this might help us out. You know, a, a player on loan for a year who's on a steady wage, it might help the club out and, you know, build the foundations of something else. Also, if we can, if we can, I mean, I, I, I don't know the situation with Jamie Vardy, but if we can keep him for another year and let him fucking score the goals and get us back up and, like, have one last hurrah with him. And if we can keep Evans fit and at the back controlling the defence, then... You know, I think we might actually have a chance. Hopefully, what I'm hoping is, is that he's going to get the players in that fucking £80 million training ground that Leicester have got, which it might even be better than Man City's when all said and done. Um, and he will go in and tell the players, either get ready to fight or just fuck off in his Italian language. Mamma mia, fuck off! Awful, yes, stereotyping. There you go. We need players who want to fight for the club and who want to, you know, play for the club. We don't need all these fucking hangers on. We've had enough of them. We, this is probably what Leicester needed, in a way, to restart and reboot. Because I think even if we'd have stayed up last year, we'd have been still in the same shit that we are now. I don't think that Leicester is an attractive club for players to come to. Um... I know Top said something about COVID and the restrictions, and he's right. You know, Leicester lot, of, uh, the, the, the Leicester chairman lost a lot of money through COVID, and Leicester couldn't just do what they wanted to do. Um, Leicester try and play by the fair play rules. Other teams don't. Other teams haven't played fair play. I think there's a team that just beat us on relegation that, that I think are in the shit. And it's about time these fucking clubs got fucking punished for doing what they're doing. There's no point in having fair play rules if you're going to do it. Leicester were doing it. Leicester, Leicester did it years ago. Leicester, Leicester should. Leicester were well. They were the last team to do it, weren't they? Leicester should have been punished. I'm not arguing against that. These teams shouldn't be just spending money that they don't don't earn, don't create. It's, it's there. So, in a way, I hope he comes in, kicks them all up the arse. Tells them that the championship's a different place from the Premier. And fuck off the pretty boys like Madison and all them. And let's start a fight. Now, Arsenal did the same thing with Ateta. And hopefully Leicester can do the same thing with Enzo. Give him time and give him a chance. 
He gave fucking Brenda a chance last year, didn't he? Brenda should have gone at Christmas, but no, he kept until 10 games left, which was then a pra practically, imp well, it was impossible situation to stay up. The problem is the championship is a fucking graveyard for managers. Managers are always getting sacked in the Premiership, in the championship. And hopefully he can hit the ground running and do well and start claiming points and looking good. And he's got to build a team. This isn't... I don't think Top can think, right, oh, fucking 12 games gone, we're fucking shit. He's got to give him a chance. He's got to let him put his own players in, his own style of play. And that doesn't come easy. These players that he's going to bring in are going to take time to gel and mix and get together. And that is the only thing I can say. Whatever you think now, whatever manager you wanted or think we should have had, the fans and the players have got to get behind Enzo. Um, he probably isn't the manager you wanted, but was Ranieri the manager we wanted? When he came in, I thought, fucking hell, what the fuck are we doing here? And then the next thing is, we've won the league. This is a new start. It's a rebuild. We should never have been in this position. We should never have been in this position of fighting to go back up to the Premier League. We had the basics of we had the base to build and not be top six, but we had top ten every year. We should have been. People, you know, when we lost Schmeichel, that was we should have spent money on getting a keeper. And we should have been trying harder to replace Jamie Vardy, who's is that this is it now. This is probably going to be his level, championship football. But no, we just kept going on and on. No one's entitled to be in the Premier League. Nobody. Yeah, nobody's entitled to be in the Premier League. Just because we've won it doesn't mean we should be in it all the while. So it is sad days. You know, we've got to remember, you know, we've got to be glad that everything happened. For those years not sorry it's over but now this is a new chapter in Leicester's history Leicester are these kind of clubs they fucking break your heart and in the end you're doing fucking hell so anyway get behind the manager get behind the players who's ever's left oh, I can't really say that can I guess I've just absolutely fucking slated Madison he ain't going to be there Madison ain't going to be there he'll go to any club that will fucking have him because that's what he's about. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I'm happy we've got Enzo. I think he's all right. I want to give him a chance. It's something different from this normal fucking bullshit that managers and clubs go through. Big Fat Sam, Dean Smith, whoever else, just regurgitating the same thing. I'm looking forward to this season, and me and Ginger, if I get time... Me and Ginger will go down to there and, you know, watch a few games. I haven't got as much time as I used to. Not dying, just, you know. But, yeah. So, comments down below, folks. Spread this video. Uh, not that I want to fucking promote the channel, but I'm just interested in what other people think. So, laters.